My name is Sister Jane Wakahio. I'm a member of the Little Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi based in Kenya. But I work for the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation in Los Angeles as the Associate Vice President for Programs Operations and also head Catholic Sisters Initiative where we fund globally to support the Catholic Sisters. The Hilton Foundation has this as the largest initiative, the Catholic Sisters Initiative, because it is written in the will and testament of Mr. Hilton, support Catholic Sisters because of the work they do to children, families, and youth across the world. Mr. Hilton had a soft praise for the Catholic Sisters, and in his plan, he left some resources to support the work of the Catholic Sisters. Today I would like to speak about advocacy as its part of our strategy to elevate the voices of the Catholic Sisters. And we do partner with the International Union of Superior General in doing this work of advocacy, as well as with many other organizations, particularly the conferences of major superiors within their own national conferences. Why is advocacy important? First, the Catholic sisters profess their witness, you know, their prophetic witness, is to leave the love of Christ within the margins and within where they serve. They respond to the call to be compassionate as were missioned by Christ. And Christ himself moving forward to go out to the world, he proclaimed, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. I have been called to bring good news to the poor, liberty, proclaim liberty to captives, and you know, those who are in the destitute situation. And Catholic sisters have continued to do so in whichever way they serve, first among themselves and then to the world. And that's how they profess their prophetic witness. They accompany, they support, and they work with those who are in less fortunate situations. So as a foundation, we have taken advocacy over as a lens that we want to elevate the moral voice of the Catholic sisters, the work they do in those margins, the models that they have created, the theories of change they have created, and elevate that particular work, not for the sake of advocacy itself, but for the sake of bringing newness in the work that they are doing. In particular, we support the UIG in, you know, in their work for Teresa Kum, building the capacity of the sisters to work with those who, are, you know, who have been um, trafficked and rehabilitating them, but also creating awareness to those who are in those situations so that then they work with the victims, they work with the survivors, but also educate others so that they may not fall into a similar situation. And that's where the advocacy comes up, because we, the Catholic sisters alone in this, that space, they cannot do it on, on their own. They need to do that work in tandem with others, in partnership and collaboration with others. So that's why the work of advocacy is important. For 12 years, Catholic sisters have been work, working with the survivors of those who have been trafficked, and then trying to disentangle the situation of those who are at risk of being trafficked. And we need to educate our young people. For example, during this time of COVID-19 for over two years, many young women were impacted, particularly girls, because the school situation protected them. But now they were living at home with no schooling and with a lockdown. And many of them entered into becoming children, but mothers when they are children. And we need to educate them and to educate others, but also to support those who have become mothers so that their life does not end there. They are still children. And sisters have taken that work and educating in the margins. We are doing the same in Kenya, uh, sponsor, providing sponsorship for 
for young women who were put in family way during this time of COVID-19 in Uganda, in Zambia, in Tanzania, so that together we help to build a community. So that's why we value the work of advocacy. Again, during the time of COVID-19, there was a lot of vaccine hesitancy and most of the vaccine were not reaching to those who were in the rural areas. The sisters came together in over seven countries and formed Sisters Ambassadors for Equitable Vaccine Distribution as a network so that to help people about understand, to educate people and understand about the COVID-19 and health and hygiene protocols they needed to follow, but also to um, to advocate and teach people about the usefulness of the vaccine and increasing the vaccine uptake. As a result of this type of initiative, we saw, you know, in many of the African countries where we're doing the work in Brazil, in Kenya, in Uganda, Zambia, and Ghana, and Nigeria, and also in the Philippines and India, we saw there were many people who were taking the vaccines as a result of this type of engagement. So advocacy is important, not just to elevate the voices of the Catholic sisters, but also to educate, to create awareness on many, many issues that the sisters care about, health, education, social services, anti-human trafficking work, ecology and environment. We are stewards of the environment and the sisters are doing the work of advocating. We have been working with Laudato Si movement and, and we have provided resources in order to help sisters become the stewards and become advocates on the environment. And the sisters are working in the front line together with the, in even addressing the government in terms of the issues of ecology.